All this hopefully good news for people who live near the plant. They've been trying to clean up the black liquor from their cars, their homes, even their plants out in front of their houses. Some are even saying they're feeling some respiratory hardship, experiencing headaches as well. The CW55's Haley Minogue spoke with some of them and has this report. For Willis Lyman, it's really nasty to me. It's real nasty. To me. The black liquor coating his car came as a surprise. We ain't, we ain't really come out to this morning, then we seen all this mess. Now he hopes international paper can find a way to prevent this from happening in the future. Yeah, just make sure everything's good to go. We don't have this problem again, so. Down the street, Edie Manning says she's been experiencing some of the symptoms IP warned about in a release to the public. Uh, earlier I was out taking my daughter to the bus stop, and uh, the, um, they were both feeling it, and they got in, the car, in my car. And then when I got home and walked in the house, I started gagging. And my eyes uh, were I had a, they're burning now, and they were burning earlier. And I started gagging in the house after being outside for about 20 minutes waiting on the school bus. She now hopes international paper will help them out. Like I hope they come out here and bring trucks and, you know, at least spray it down or do something. You know, I've got a 15-year-old, have an 8-and-a-half-year-old, I've got the animals, and uh, I'm very worried. I actually am not an alarmist type of person, I'm really not. But I was in the house, I'm thinking, you know, what happens like 10 years down the road? They'll wash away the black liquor, but they'll still seek answers for what happened and the impact it will have on their homes and their families. In Cantonment, Haley Minogue, the CW55 News at 9. And officials are also telling people to keep an eye out on their pets and watch for what they might be coming in to contact with.